In the beginning, there was nothing but the vast expanse of emptiness. It was in this void that God, the ultimate creator, existed with a divine intention. God spoke and the universe came into being with a single word. God brought forth light, dispelling the darkness that had shrouded everything. He separated the light from the darkness, marking the first day, seeing the potential for life. God continued his work. On the second day, God commanded the creation of the firmament, an expanse that divided the waters below from the waters above. He called this expanse heaven and created a space for the atmosphere and the celestial bodies. Then, on the third day, God commanded the waters below to gather, forming seas and oceans while dry land merged, forming continents and islands. From the fertile ground, God caused vegetation to sprout and cover the earth, bringing forth plants, trees, and flowers of all kinds. The fourth day witnessed a breathtaking display of divine craftsmanship. God set the sun, moon, and stars in the sky, each with its purpose. The sun would provide light and govern the day, while the moon and stars would illuminate the night. The rhythmic dance of the heavenly bodies would mark the passage of time and guide humanity. On the fifth day, God spoke again, commanding the waters to teem with living creatures. He created an abundance of diverse sea creatures, filling the oceans with an array of fish, majestic whales, and intricate corals, and intricate corals. The sky above became a playground for birds of all kinds, soaring through the heavens with grace and beauty. As God marveled at his creation, he decided to bring life to the land. On the sixth day, he called forth animals of all shapes and sizes, from the mighty lion to the humble sparrow. Each creature was uniquely crafted, displaying the wonder of God's creative power. Yet, God's masterpiece was still to come. With deliberate care, God formed man from the dust of the earth, molding him in his own image. He breathed life into the man's nostrils, and he became a living being. God named him Adam, and from Adam's rib, he formed a woman named Eve, creating companionship and love. Thus, the world and everything in it were created by God's divine word. It was a testament to his power, wisdom, and boundless love. With the completion of his work, God looked upon his creation and saw that it was good. And on the seventh day, he rested, sanctifying it as a day of rest for all creation. And this way, according to the biblical account, God spoke the universe into existence shaping the world and all that dwells within it with his infinite wisdom and love. After creating the world and everything in it, God placed Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, a paradise teeming with beauty and abundance. He gave them the responsibility to care for the garden and all its inhabitants while enjoying its bountiful fruits. God walked and communed with Adam and Eve, establishing a close and intimate relationship with them. They lived in harmony with one another and with all of creation. In this idyllic setting, there was no pain, suffering, or death. God provided clear instructions to Adam and Eve, placing one tree in the center of the garden, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and forbidding them from eating its fruit. He warned them that if they were to eat from it, he would surely face the consequences of their disobedience. Tragically, Temptation entered the picture when a serpent deceived Eve, convincing her to eat the forbidden fruit. She, in turn, offered it to Adam, and he also partook. This act of disobedience, known as the Fall, shattered the perfect relationship between humanity and God. Sin entered the world, bringing with it the consequences of suffering, pain, and separation from God's presence. 
God, however, did not abandon his creation. In his infinite love and mercy, he promised a future redemption, a plan to restore humanity's broken relationship with him. Throughout the biblical narrative, God reveals his faithfulness to this promise, extending grace and offering opportunities for reconciliation. The subsequent chapters of the Bible unfold the story of God's interaction with humanity, encompassing the lives of prophets, kings, and ordinary individuals who played a role in God's plan of redemption. Ultimately, this divine plan culminated in the coming of Jesus Christ. Jesus, the Son of God, took on human form and lived among people, demonstrating God's love, teaching profound truths, and performing miracles through his sacrificial death on the cross. Jesus atoned for the sins of humanity, offering forgiveness and the opportunity for reconciliation with God. His resurrection from the dead conquered the power of sin and death, providing hope for eternal life. The story of creation, the fall, and the promised redemption form a central theme in Christianity. It conveys the depth of God's love for humanity and his desire to restore the brokenness caused by sin through faith in Jesus Christ. Individuals can find forgiveness, salvation, and a renewed purpose in their relationship with God. The story of God's interaction with humanity continues beyond the redemption offered through Jesus Christ. After Jesus' resurrection, he appeared to his disciples and followers, giving them instructions and commissioning them to spread the good news of salvation to all nations. This event marked the beginning of the early Christian church. Empowered by the Holy Spirit, the disciples embarked on a mission to share the message of God's love, forgiveness, and salvation. They faced challenges, persecution, and hardships. But their faith remained steadfast as they proclaimed the transformative power of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. The spread of Christianity throughout the world led to the formation of diverse Christian communities and traditions. Over the centuries, countless men and women dedicated their lives to serving God, contributing to the growth and development of the Christian faith. The Bible, comprising the Old and New Testaments, serves as the sacred text for Christians. It contains various genres of literature, including historical accounts, poetry, prophecy, and letters. Prophecy and letters. These writings convey God's message, his character, and his plan for humanity. They provide guidance, wisdom, and spiritual nourishment for believers. Throughout history, Christianity has influenced societies, shaped cultures, and inspired countless acts of love, compassion, and service. The teachings of Jesus and the principles found in the Bible continue to guide Christians in their daily lives, encouraging them to love God and love their neighbors. Christianity also encompasses a diverse range of beliefs and practices. Different denominations and theological perspectives exist, reflecting varied interpretations of scripture and understandings of faith. However, the core message of God's love the salvation offered through Jesus and the call to follow his teachings remain foundational across Christian traditions. As time progresses, Christians anticipate the fulfillment of God's ultimate plan for humanity. The Bible speaks of a future return of Jesus Christ, often referred to as the Second Coming. This event is believed to herald the final judgment the resurrection of the dead and the establishment of God's eternal kingdom where righteousness, peace, and perfect communion with God will be realized. In summary, the story of God's interaction with humanity spans from creation to redemption 
and extends into the present and future. It encompasses God's love, humanity's fall, the promised redemption through Jesus Christ, the establishment of the Christian Church, and the ongoing journey of faith. Christianity is a faith that invites individuals to embrace God's love, follow Jesus' teachings, and participate in God's redemptive plan for the world.